testing the SSH connection to an agent. In Cloud BCI 2.346.3.4, a new feature was added. You now have the ability to test the SSH connection prior to actually bringing the agent online. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So what we have is an operation center, version 2.346.3.4, and we also have a client controller that's also version 2.346.3.4. Now first, let's go ahead and go down to the controller and test out connecting the agent. So I'm going to add a new agent, new node. I'm going to call it Agent 1. I'm going to make it a permanent agent and click on Create. Give it a quick directory here of home.vagrant slash agent. Use the node as much as possible, and I'm going to connect via SSH. My host is Agent 1. I already have credentials set up. I'm going to say non-verifying for right now. And in order for me to be able to do the verification, I click on Advanced, scroll down to the bottom, and click on Test SSH Connection. Now, once I click this button, if I'm able to connect, I can see that the SSH connection to the test agent was successful. Now, if I wanted to break this, I could change my credentials and I would see a different message in this case. When I go ahead and click on save, when the agent goes ahead and starts up, we can see that it's launching. And once it's finished, now it's completely online and ready to go. So that's great that I want to be able to go ahead and do that verification before I actually finish creating the agent. But what about a shared agent? Well, let's go ahead and Let's delete this agent before we do anything else. So I'm going to click on Disconnect first. And I'm going to click on Delete Agent. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the agent from my controller and go create a shared agent up on my Operations Center. So let's go back up to our Operations Center and let's create a new item. And I'm going to call this Shared Agent 1. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Shared Agent and click OK. I'm going to set the number of executors to 1. I'm going to set up Home Vagrant share dash agent one. I'm going to go ahead and change my launch method again to launch build agents via SSH. My host is agent one. I already have credentials set up. I'll go ahead and change this to non-verifying for this test and click on advance. Much like what we did down on our controller, we're going to do the same thing up on the operation center. We'll also see our test SSH connection. We click on that, we do our test, and we can see that the test of the agent was successful. When I click on save, I can now see that the agent is available for lease. However, just because the agent is for lease does not mean that the controller could actually use this agent. When we did that verification for our shared agent, that was from our operation center out to the agent. If for some reason there was no way for me to be able to connect from my controller to the agent, think about a firewall between the operation center and the controller, and the agent was on the operation center of the firewall, then the controller would not be able to connect up to that agent unless you were to poke holes through that firewall. If I'm able to connect from my operation center to the agent, that's great. I know the operation center can connect to that agent, but there's no guarantee that the controller could connect to the agent. So you have to make sure that although the operation center said it was able to connect, there is a chance that the controller may not be able to connect. So you'll still want to go ahead and run a quick job to make sure that, that job can actually connect and use that agent. Well, let's test that out. Let's go ahead and go back over to our controller. I have a job set up to actually just go and run a very simple job. If we take a look at it, we're saying agent label docker shared. Let's go ahead and go create a label on the shared agent. So let's go back over here, click on all. I see my shared agent. Let's go down here to configure. Let's add in a label of docker shared here. So that way we know that we can connect up to this agent. Ah, first we have to take it offline. And now let's add the label, click on save. So now it's available for lease. Let's go back down to our controller, go into the job and click on Build Now. And when we take a look at the output of three, what we're going to see is that the job connected up to Shared Agent 1, which is our shared agent, and then it ran Docker Info to check out the information for the Docker. The Docker thing doesn't really matter in this case, but as we can see, the controller is able to connect up to the shared agent and run the job without any problems. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.